Uh, breaking news into us here at CNN. A judge has just ruled in the battle over Missouri's only abortion clinic. CNN's Ryan Young joining us now live from St. Louis with more on the breaking news. Uh, so, Ryan, what did we learn? What did the judge say? Well, uh, first things first, I'm, I'm holding this phone to my head just because uh, my earpiece is not functioning. But wanting to tell you this, uh, there's a news conference that's going to be held just in the next few minutes from the Planned Parenthood folks. As of right now, uh, things will continue with the injunction that had been put in place earlier. So basically, the state has denied the Planned Parenthood um, license moving forward. But because of the injunction that's been put in place, the court is basically saying everything is status quo until the next decision. So we'll learn more about that. But look, there's been a lot of conversation in this state with just one abortion clinic that is still open. What we do know is right now they're still servicing women at that clinic. Um, this clinic has moved forward with deciding not to do the second pelvic exam, which a lot of people have been talking about. So we did run downstairs to uh, be able to do this live shot for you. We do know just in the next few minutes, there will be more conversation in terms of getting information about how this state will move forward. But so far, that license has been denied, but because the injunction that the judge put in place, we do know abortions will continue in the state for the foreseeable future. All right, Ryan Young with the latest on those developments there. Uh, Ryan, thank you. And as he mentioned, too, we should be hearing from uh, some representatives, obviously from Planned Parenthood. In a short time, we will bring you any of those comments as they come in. But I want to bring in now Paul Callen, uh, our legal expert here. So, Paul, as we look through this, there have been a lot of back and forth. Uh, there has been a lot of back and forth over this 72-hour rule dealing with a pelvic exam. Planned Parenthood doctors arguing that there didn't need to be a pelvic exam 72 hours before a planned procedure because there's one that happens on the day of that procedure regardless. Uh, now we're seeing this judge weigh in here. Essentially, it's just extending this even further, this decision. Yes, it is extending it further. further. And just to, to get into the weeds a little bit, the what uh, pro-choice advocates are saying is that by imposing these additional requirements, mm -hmm. medical requirements, this is really just uh, an attempt to stop abortions from happening. And uh, it's a ruse, really. It's a medical procedure that's not necessary. And I think you're seeing really the beginnings of a fast track mm -hmm. of some of these cases that will eventually wind up in the Supreme Court. And uh, we'll see a reexamination of Roe versus Wade with a new conservative majority in the Supreme Court. And to that point, we do know, I mean, in talking with you and talking with, you know, Jeffrey Tubin, our other legal experts, we've been talking about this for some time, that there has been for a number of years, actually, a plan in place by folks uh, who would like to see Roe v. Wade overturned to start with these cases with an ultimate goal of getting, uh, you know, one or more to the Supreme Court in a way that then would force a decision a second decision, really, on Roe versus Wade. Yeah, you're exactly right about that, Erica. And if you look in different states, you will see that different uh, approaches are being used. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, in Missouri, they're talking about the need for a second pelvic exam. In other states, there may be another medical procedure. There may be, we've heard about fetal heart uh, beat mm -hmm. uh, laws uh, being used. There, be, there are a number of approaches being used to give the Supreme Court uh, a reason to take a second look at Roe versus Wade.